Scene script. Have you ever wondered what would happen if a nuclear war broke out? Well, the consequences are more catastrophic than most can imagine. Nuclear war isn't like any other conflict. It's a Pandora's box that, once opened, releases destruction on a scale unparalleled in human history. Let's consider the immediate impacts. When a nuclear weapon detonates, it creates an intense flash of light, followed by a shockwave that obliterates everything in its path. This isn't your average explosion, we're talking about an energy release equivalent to millions of tons of TNT. Buildings are flattened, forests are incinerated, and anyone unfortunate enough to be in the vicinity is instantly vaporized. But the devastation doesn't stop there. The initial blast is followed by a wave of intense heat and radiation. This lethal cocktail can cause severe burns and radiation sickness, leading to a slow, painful death for those who survive the initial blast. Now let's talk about the long-term impacts. The fallout from a nuclear explosion can linger for decades, contaminating the environment and making vast swaths of land uninhabitable. Crops fail, water sources become poisoned, and wildlife dies off in droves. The survivors of the immediate blast may find themselves facing a slow death from starvation or radiation-related illnesses. And the effects aren't just local. The smoke and dust thrown up by a nuclear explosion can block out sunlight, triggering a nuclear winter. Temperatures plummet, crops fail on a global scale, and entire ecosystems collapse. This isn't just a disaster for the warring nations, it's a catastrophe for the entire world. So how do nuclear weapons create such devastation? Well, it's all down to the power of the atom. When a nuclear weapon is detonated, it triggers a chain reaction that splits atoms apart, releasing a vast amount of energy. It's this energy that causes the destruction we've just described. Now that we understand the potential devastation, let's explore a timeline of events in a nuclear war. Imagine the unthinkable, a nuclear war has started. In the blink of an eye, our world is transformed. The immediate aftermath of the first strike is a scene of unimaginable destruction. Cities are flattened, reduced to rubble and ash in seconds. Millions of lives are extinguished in the blink of an eye. But this is only the beginning. In response to the initial attack, nations launch their own nuclear weapons in retaliation. The sky is filled with trails of smoke as more and more missiles are launched, each one capable of causing destruction on a scale that is hard to comprehend. As the dust settles, we start to see the spread of nuclear fallout. This is a mix of the bomb debris, soot, and radioactive materials that were thrown into the air by the explosion. These particles are carried by the wind, spreading radiation over a vast area. But what does this fallout do? It contaminates everything it touches, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat. It seeps into the soil, poisoning the very earth we rely on for survival. This radiation is invisible, but its effects are all too real. It can lead to sickness, mutations and death, not just in humans, but in all forms of life. As weeks turn into months, we enter a phase known as nuclear winter. The soot and debris from the explosions block out the sun, causing temperatures to plummet. It's a harsh, unrelenting cold that can last for years, even decades. Crops fail, animals die and ecosystems collapse. In the long term, the effects of a nuclear war would be felt on every level of society. With the infrastructure destroyed and resources scarce, social order would break down. Without the rule of law, the struggle for survival becomes a brutal every-man-for-himself scenario. We'd see the rise of diseases as healthcare systems collapse, famine as food production grinds to a halt, and violence as people fight for the dwindling resources. In the face of such adversity, it's hard to imagine how humanity could recover. But it's not just about humans. The environment would be irreparably damaged with entire species wiped out and ecosystems destroyed. The radiation would linger for thousands of years making large parts of the planet uninhabitable. This is the timeline of a nuclear war. It's a grim picture, one that we should do everything in our power to avoid. The stakes are too high, the consequences too dire. But remember, this is a hypothetical scenario. Our goal is to prevent such a catastrophe. In the wake of such devastation, what would be left of our world? A question that sends shivers down the spine of even the bravest among us. The aftermath of a nuclear war, if we can even call it that, would be a world barely recognizable. Let's talk about nuclear winter. One of the most significant long-term consequences of a nuclear war. Picture this. Ash and soot from the fires ignited by nuclear explosions would envelop the Earth, blocking out the sun's rays. This would result in a dramatic drop in global temperatures lasting anywhere from several months to several years. Imagine a world plunged into a perpetual winter with temperatures plummeting to levels not seen since the last ice age. 
this nuclear winter would have a domino effect, leading to widespread famine. With sunlight blocked, photosynthesis would be impossible, leading to a collapse in the agricultural sector. The food chain would be disrupted at its very root. This, coupled with the infrastructural damage from the war, would make food production and distribution near impossible. But the devastation doesn't stop there. The fallout from nuclear explosions would result in the collapse of ecosystems. Radioactive substances would contaminate the land, water, and air, leading to the death of many species and the disruption of biodiversity. The world as we know it, teeming with life in all its forms, would be reduced to a barren, radioactive wasteland. In such a world the potential for recovery would be slim. Survivors would face a multitude of challenges, from the scarcity of food and clean water, to the threat of radiation sickness. Not to mention the psychological trauma of living in a post-apocalyptic world. Yet, despite the grim picture we've painted, it's crucial to remember that this bleak future is not inevitable. It's a scenario we have the power to prevent. The fate of our world lies in our hands. We have the knowledge, the technology, and the capacity to ensure that nuclear war remains a hypothetical scenario, never to be realized. This bleak future is not inevitable. It's up to us to prevent it. Scene script. How can we avoid this grim fate? Preventing nuclear war is not a job for the faint-hearted. It's a task that requires relentless commitment, not just from world leaders, but from each and every one of us. Disarmament, diplomacy, and international cooperation are the three big pillars that hold the key to averting this catastrophic event. Let's start with disarmament. It's about reducing the number of nuclear weapons in the world. Sounds simple, right? But it's a complex process involving negotiations and agreements between nations. It's a balancing act of maintaining national security while easing the global tension that these weapons create. Next up is diplomacy, the art of negotiation. This is where leaders and diplomats come into play. Their task is to foster peaceful relations between nations, to resolve disputes amicably, and to ensure that the threat of nuclear war is kept at bay. It's a delicate dance but when performed well, can result in treaties that effectively limit the production and use of nuclear arms. Lastly, we have international cooperation. In today's interconnected world, no nation can stand alone. We need to work together, sharing information and resources, to build a nuclear-free world. This means establishing international laws and regulations that are respected by all, ensuring that no country feels the need to arm itself with nuclear weapons for self-defense. But what about us, the ordinary citizens? What role can we play? A lot, actually. We can vote for leaders who prioritize peace and disarmament. We can educate ourselves and others about the effects of nuclear war. We can support organizations that work towards nuclear disarmament, and most importantly, we can raise our voices, advocating for peace and a world free from the threat of nuclear war. In a world where the push of a button can lead to unimaginable destruction, we must all strive for peace. We must all work toward disarmament, promote diplomacy, and foster international cooperation. And remember, the power to prevent nuclear war lies in our hands. So, what have we learned today about the potential consequences of a nuclear war? We've journeyed through a chilling exploration of the unimaginable horrors of nuclear warfare. We've seen the catastrophic immediate consequences that would ensue, from the explosive destruction at ground zero, to the lethal radiation fallout spreading far and wide. We've walked down a timeline that showed us the grim sequence of events, from the moment of detonation, to the long-lasting effects. We've also witnessed the potential aftermath, a world ravaged by nuclear winter, societal breakdown and a severely damaged ecosystem that would take centuries to heal. But we've also learned that there's hope. We discussed the ways to prevent such a catastrophe from disarmament to diplomacy, from international cooperation to education. In the end, the choice is ours. We can choose a path of peace and cooperation, or we can risk the future of our planet. Choose wisely.